Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be making another custom pair of shoes and these shoes you guys are going to be Pokemon themed. Long story short, I got a notification one day from one of my friends who tagged me in one of her stories on Instagram and it was my video of me making custom pairs of the Studio Ghibli shoes. If you guys haven't seen the video, I'll link it in the description box, you know. Um, anyway, she linked me in this video and she was like, so when am I getting a pair? And I was like, girl, hypothetically, if I was gonna make you a pair, what kind would you want with your shoe size? She sent me that information and it's been about like two months since she's like kind of requested it, but I did say hypothetically. I think she waited long enough and I'm going to create that custom pair of Pokemon themed shoes just for her. So for today, I'm gonna go ahead and do some rough sketches of what I want, kind of figure out what Pokemon I wanna do. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and order the shoes of that now. I had a couple suggestions. I went and asked some friends of mine. I'm like, hey, do you guys watch Pokemon? And if so, like, what are, like, your top six Pokemon, you know? And they gave me, you know, the classic Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle <laughs> Charmander. So I was like, of course I gotta do the classic trio. Let me show you what I've been working with, you guys. The first custom shoes you guys I ever created, I think they're actually over here, I could probably show them to you, were these BT21 shoes I made for myself. Usually before I do any painting on the shoes, I usually draw out like sketches and this is the one that I did for my BT21 shoes. But I usually start off by sketching all of the, the work that I'm gonna use first before just freehanding it because your girl can't freehand for the life. Let me show you what it looks like if I freehand something. Me, if I freehand something, looks a lot like this. <laughs> and then me actually like try harding and being a good artist. It kind of looks like this. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here for at least one side of the shoe. And then I just need another three. Some people recommended like Togepi, Togepi? You know, we have Pikachu. Like, can you really make Pokemon shoes without Pikachu? These, you guys, um, are my BT21 shoes that I created like a couple months ago. We have like RJ, um, Shooky. We have all of them in here. They're kind of dirty because I ended up spilling <laughs> spilled coffee on them. Let's see, let's go ahead and order these shoes. Okay guys, so we ordered the, the shoes. Um, we have an idea of what we wanna do for one shoe, which is this. I'm going to then try to figure out what I'm gonna do for the next shoe. I ordered the shoes, I'm gonna do a little bit more sketches and then I'm gonna see you guys again when the shoes come in and then we can start with our custom pairs. Hey guys, welcome back. The shoes have finally come in. I have been working on some sketches of what I finally wanted to do. Originally, I told you guys that I wanted to do this picture of Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. I believe it was this one. And I wanted to put this on like one of the shoes, like the right side, and then do something else for the left side. However, I decided to scrap that entire idea because I ended up caving and messaging my friend and saying, hey, like, what Pokemon do you like? She responded with Pikachu and Squirtles. I played around with some sketches and what I came up with was this. <laughs> you guys don't laugh at my drawing, okay? This is what it looked like. Um, I had Squirtle in the background of some waves and that was kind of my idea. Pikachu was fairly easy. I already knew the one I wanted to do with Pikachu and how I imagined it was just like, you know, a lightning bolt in the background. This, this is what I'm going with. So we have Pikachu right here um, sitting down and there's like a little lightning bolt that goes across and then we have Squirtle which is a little bit more of a detailed work with the waves in the background. But that is what we're going with for today's shoes. Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys the shoes that came in. I just ordered them off of Amazon and they are actually, I would say, a lot nicer. Studio Ghibli ones had like a nice little black line that defined it. This one's kind of all white. It looks really nice. And if you guys can just imagine like this with this. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, let's get started with the video. 
All right, guys, it's voiceover Olivia taking over. What I'm doing here in this scene is that I'm taping down basically the sides of the shoes just in case I get paint on them. I won't <laughs> ruin it. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to this. Just taking some like precautions, you know, because I'm I'm a messy painter and uh, we don't we don't need some messy shoes. Um, yeah, there those are the shoes, and then I taped the other one as well off camera yep there they are bam magic okay so right here i am doing a base coat like a white base coat on the shoes and i am doing that because it helps the paint go on a lot easier when there's a base coat and also when i go in later with a sharpie you guys it will help the sharpie not ink itself into the material of the shoes Next, I began the sketch of the Squirtle shoe, and what I found out about this one by adding the base coat, it's a lot easier to sketch on compared to what I did in the Studio Ghibli film. If you guys saw that, it was the most like tedious and time-consuming thing I've ever did. However, it did end up like the way I wanted it, but it was super tedious. Um, here I am doing the Pikachu shoe, and then these are the shoes. That's the Squirtle, and then that is the Pikachu one. Pikachu does not have a face, but just wait for it. Just wait for it. I went in and did all the detail work. There's a background of the wave in the Squirtle shoe. And then with the Pikachu, I added the lightning, and then now Pikachu has a face. Here I am going in with the yellow paint on the Pikachu shoe. Yeah, not much to say about that. Just going in the line uh, the Pikachu was probably the easiest shoe I've ever done it only consisted of three colors yellow black and red uh, next I went in with the blue paint on the Squirtle shoe and this one did take a lot of time I ended up skipping a lot of the recording and as you can see there is a lot more on the canvas than what you saw before uh, I went in with the black sharpie to define Squirtle and then now in this scene, I am going in with different shades of the colors to add more depthness to Squirtle to make him pop more. And then that's Squirtle, you guys. Yeah, he looks pretty good. And then in this next scene, I ended up adding more of a darker outline just so he pops against the blue ocean wave in the back, just so you could see him. Next, I actually went back to working on the Pikachu shoe because when I ended up comparing the two, the Squirtle kind of just outshined the Pikachu. So I wanted Pikachu to look good on its own so I went and added more lightning bolts to the background. Hey guys so before I show you the final results of the shoes I do want to thank you for watching this video and I hope with this new year that I will be posting more often it's one of my new year's resolutions so keep an eye out for my channel and then with that said let me show you the final results of the Pokemon shoes.